Our full review of the HTC Droid DNA is now live. The LG Nexus 4 shows up in white yet again. And Microsoft's new ad campaign for Windows Phone 8 misses the point. I'm Jaime Rivera. Wishing there was a GSM-flavored HTC Droid DNA? And this is Pocket Now Daily. For those of you that agree with me that the HTC Droid DNA on Verizon is probably one of the hottest smartphones of the year, aka J Butterfly, remember that? Well, Michael's full review is already live and there are a lot of really great things to talk about this phone, but sadly, some things that weren't really that good on Verizon. So make sure you catch the links for his full review. Michael has taken the time to compare that thing to everything in our Boston labs, I think except for his neighbor's dog. So make sure you catch the links and make a full opinion for yourself before you make your purchase this holiday season. Now let's be realistic here. The only cooler thing than to have the LG Nexus 4 with a glass on glass design, like previous versions of the iPhone, is to also have a white variant of the Nexus 4 that's just as cool as the white iPhones we saw before. So far there are some leaked images and specs showing that there is a white Nexus 4 though, sadly we have no dates for that, and we're not sure if that front panel is going to remain black and the back is going to be white, hopefully it's going to be fully white. So stay tuned for more rumors. You know, I had my first shot at getting lost with Apple Maps last week, so I did celebrate this morning when Nokia finally released their Maps application for iOS. It's called Here Maps and it's completely free on the iOS App Store. Even though it's not perfect and it's not really as good as Google's navigation services on Android, hey, trust me, again, it's free and it's much better than just having Apple's Maps for free, getting lost and not having a second opinion. Now Skype has made some major changes and a lot of these really benefit Android customers the most. First of all because we finally get a tablet optimized version of Skype for Android tablets, which you know is hard to come by. And so far, to be honest with you, it's quite cool. Aside from that, Skype is now making it available for you to be able to merge your current Skype handle with your Microsoft account. And since you'll most likely have to do it sooner or later next year, might as well do it now. And finally, for the ironic news of the day, Microsoft is at it again with a new marketing campaign to compare Windows Phone 8 to iOS and Android. Sort of like Smoke by Windows Phone, though, without the gangster name. Sadly, the ironic part is when you have these guys compare a Lumia 920 and video recording capabilities to an HTC Inspire 4G that's two years old. Or having them compare search capabilities in Local Scout with a Blackberry when you can have an Android device to compare that to. How about if they try to compare how Windows Phone 8 launches Google Voice in comparison to Android. Right, that's right, there's no Google Voice application on Windows Phone 8. That leads me to the question of the day. What do you think about Microsoft's new marketing tactics? I mean, Smoke by Windows Phone was okay. It only compared speed, but this time they're trying to compare services where not really things are matching in their comparisons. Leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on Parkanow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching.